I bought a Hot Wheels radar gun to see how much of a toy it was and discovered it really is a great little radar gun that shoots Doppler radar, but it has its limitations, so it's time to hack it. First I took it apart by drilling out the plastic caps that cover the screws. Once apart you'll see the waveguide, display, switch, and battery holder. i would made note of all the locations and disassembled the wiring. Then I found a cheap drink bottle that will serve as the new waveguide housing. After cutting off one end, four holes were drilled. I picked up a quarter inch by twenty coupler nut and a matching bolt and washers. Also a mini toggle switch and a double A battery holder was needed. After painting an old Altoids tin black, a square hole was cut in the back with my Dremel. To secure the waveguide, a bolt was JB welded on. Then I secured the display to the Altoids tin using the original screws. After soldering new wiring to the old locations, it was time to assemble it. I installed the tripod mount, the mini toggle switch, and ran the wiring through a center hole. After installing the waveguide, I ran the wiring through the Altoid tin top and secured the waveguide with a nut. After completing all the wiring, it was time to test it out. It works great! Now you just turn it on instead of having to hold the trigger. And with four AA batteries instead of four AAA batteries, I got more runtime out of it. And I even used a homemade hot shoe mount to attach it to a video camera. Even cops don't have one of these. There's my hacked Hot Wheels radar gun.